Hey guys, Ruben here with your daily tech needs and um, first of all, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a couple of videos lately uh, I have the flu, so I'm a bit iffy, uh, etc but today's video is going to be about how to install a clockwork mod um, aka clockwork or uh, CM, CWM sorry. basically it's a custom recovery tool for any Android device uh, most Android devices, if not all Android devices, sorry about that um, have clockwork mod installed for installing custom ROMs and generally modding out your device so here is my Samsung Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0 uh, this is the international version with the capacitive, uh, sorry not capacitive, the hard home button as you can see it's, uh, it's a physical home button there so that's how you can tell it's the international version and today I'm just going to tell you how to ins install Clockwork Mod onto your Android device in this case um, the Wi-Fi 5.0 and, uh, and how just to boot into it. Uh, basically it's a great feature to have. It allows you to back up your whole ROM if you like. Take a system image uh, so you can restore if anything goes wrong. Um, so yeah, please thumbs up if you like this video. Let's uh, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is turn off your device. Uh, so we'll just we'll turn our device off here. Um, we'll just power off. And what you're going to do, you want to boot into download mode, I believe it's called. Uh, this is only specifically for Samsung devices. Um, basically, download mode is a mode that allows you to connect to your PC and use a program, which is called Odin. Um, Odin is the program that will allow you to install basically any ROM as well as kernels, um, and which in turn allows you to install Clockwork Mod. So the device is off now. What we're going to do, we're going to boot it into download mode. So what you're going to do is you want to go and press the power button Let's get that to focus there um, And the down volume button at the same time So we'll just hold these two down And as you can see We now have uh, Do not turn off target And uh, download an Android icon This is We are now in download mode and uh, this is where we want to be at so what we're going to do is we're just going to connect our micro USB um, in the bottom of the device and then I'm going to go over to the computer to do the rest of the business okay so once you've connected your device to the computer and it's in download mode you're going to want to do a couple of things uh, the first thing you're going to do is want to find a custom kernel for your device, which is just uh, a kernel's just a. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> it's just a piece of code basically that controls the processor, the CPU speed, um, and uh, governors for your inputs and outputs, that kind of thing. Um, it's not ready. You don't need to know about it if you if you don't uh, you know if you don't want to. It's not necessary. All you need to do is there is find a custom kernel that has a CWM in or some reference to cus or some reference sorry to Clockwork Mod in the features. Um, this version is for the Galaxy Play 5 International, and this this tutorial that I'm doing also works if you can if you go into the forums the forum site and download the US um, version of the kernel or the Galaxy Play 4.0 version of the kernel. So we're going to just download that here. And uh, once I think I've, yeah, once you downloaded that, I'm going to download the Odeon one, the the latest kernel, and it's here. It's a dot tar uh, file. Uh, I'm also going to put a link in the description for Samsung USB drivers. These are the drivers you're going to need for Odeon to work. Basically, Odeon is a program that allows you to install ROMs and kernels, etc., on your device through the computer um, using download mode. So again, I'll put the link to Odeon in the description. So at this stage we should have three files downloaded, the kernel with a, uh, with Clockwork Mod in it uh, for your device, uh, Samsung USB drivers which I'll put a link to in the description, and Odeon. So what we do is you just want to install the drivers first, just simply click on it and follow the on-screen instructions. I'm not going to do it because I've already had got them installed, uh, plus it takes time, but it's a simple enough process of just pressing next. So we're going to open up Odeon here. Uh, there we go. User account controller is going to ask you yes or no. You're just going to put yes, and you should um, you should just get rid of this in a minute. You should appear with uh, zero com three 
if you don't have that then you run into problems your drivers probably aren't installed and um, if start trying to install them again or uninstall them and reinstall them um, when you have this up here it means your device is recognized so we're just going to leave everything as it is you can press reset um, and we're going to go to PDA we're going to find our kernel my kernel is located in my downloads folder uh, here we are, R14 kernel. We're just going to press open that. And then that's it, we're just going to simply press start. And then you'll see here we have a fail. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Uh, I had to just close it there. It failed on me. Um, this could be a number of problems. It's very, very hard to find out a specific problem. I've been having problems with my Galaxy S Wi Fi 5.0 for a while now, but we'll carry on. Um, basically when you press start it should say uh, success and it should be a green box up here so we'll take it that it's done that and uh, then you're going to want to exit the program now I'm just going to go back to my device here okay so you're going to want to unplug your micro USB from your um, from your device uh, sorry about that and it's still in download mode so you're going to want to turn it off so you're going to want to hold the physical home button down and the power button until your display turns off and when the display turns off you're going to want to let go of both buttons so let go of both buttons and then press on and up this time and hopefully we should boot into clockwork mod if this happens uh, we we'll just carry on um, and we'll try again, we'll hold the power and the home button so we can get rid of the Samsung icon oh there, oh, there we are <laughs> just took its time and as you can see we have now got clockwork mod CWM on our uh, on our Samsung Galaxy S Wi-Fi 5.0 sorry for the delays in this video I've been obviously like I said having problems but um, I've tried to fix it, it's, that's why there's been a lot of edits, but there was no such luck, so I decided to carry on anyway, and hopefully you get the general idea. So like I said, this is Clockwork Mod, and as you can see, we have numerous op options here, including installing a zip, which you can install any zip file, uh, ROM files, etc. Uh, wiping the cat, the catch uh, position, and factory reset. Thanks for watching, please rate, comment and subscribe guys.